Welcome to this short video on reference lines and shading. A lot of this stuff you've probably seen, but there's a couple of tricks that I want to share with you. Let's assume that these are uh, search results and this is time spent on those results. Could be dollars and uh, salespeople along the left hand side. What we want to do is we want to identify um, kind of a threshold for a good versus a bad. Time spent. So we're going to add a reference line. We're going to say that it is a line and we want it to be, maybe it's a constant value of 15. Now you can add other items here, like what is the average, if it's above the average or the mean. You could add the total and sum, but we're going to add just an average. You can format the line down here if you'd like. So there you go. There's a the line if it's 15. Well, that's, that works great, except it's right on the grid line kind of hard to see and it's got this label here so let's go ahead and edit and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the label that's the label there we want it to be a, uh, a band we're going to say the band is from 0 to 15 now once again you have other options here of you can change it to the minimum value to the average whatever and we're going to change these uh, to an orange color. And so now, as you go through, I thought I got rid of that. Oh, this is just identifying the range. As you're going through here, you can see where the 0 to 15 is. And quickly, you don't have to try and guess if that line is the grid line or the reference line. Quickly see it. Do one more thing here. We're going to edit the reference line. Get rid of that. I don't know how that got in there. Out of the reference line. We're now going to change it to a distribution. We want to identify if it's the 50th or the 75th um, percentage of. We're going to change this now to the maximum value. All right. So, we want to fill it below as well. Now you can start getting color, you can choose colors. All right? So now, anything below 75 per, 50% of the maximum is going to be red. And then there's 75% of the maximum. Pretty slick. Okay, and you can mess around with that. Now we're going to look at time. Okay, maybe you've got a chart like this that shows um, either dollars or count or something over time, and you want to find out where you're at in the schedule. This is a little trickier. You're going to have to create a uh, a field. We're just going to call this today's date. I know that's supposed to be an apostrophe, and then we're just going to put the date today. It's going to be a simple function. Now we're going to add reference line, okay, we're going to have it be a line, planned value, we want it actually to be a constant, oops, no we don't want it to be a constant, we want to create a new parameter, and this new parameter is, we're going to call it today, all right, this is where it gets a little tricky, under current value, you can't really change that, I mean you can change it to a date, what we want to do is we want to change it to a field. So allowable values come down here to list. And we're going to limit, we're going to add it from a field to today's date. So those are the only values that it can have is from that field, today's date. Well, what happens tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, today's date is going to move to tomorrow. You know what I mean. And uh, maybe we want the computation you can see down here it says today. And we also want the value. Let's see here. No, we actually want custom because we want both of them. So we want the field name and add a couple spaces. There and value. All right, so I don't like that formatting. So we'll come down here to parameters, default properties, 
change the date format to something that we like. Pretty slick. Now that will update each day. Now the other thing that we can do here is we can actually add some reference lines onto the vertical axis as well. We're going to do a, it's just a little tricky, let's try distribution. And we're going to do 50 and 75 and we want it of the maximum value. This is a this is actually a table calculation that's a running total, running count. And we want it to fill below that band. And so now you're going to have two colors there. So let's just do this color scheme. So now as you're going along, you can see where you're at. Oh, you're 75% of the way all the way up. And uh, here's today. And as you move along, you'll quickly be able to see where you're at. There you go. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and the little bell to be notified when new videos are released.